Those text messages and emails released in just the last hour, more than 400 and also it's going to take us a time to go through exactly what they're saying. Now in several of the text messages be between Brian and NFL Hall of Famer Brett Favre, you hear a back and forth between the two men regarding millions in funding for a volleyball stadium at the University of Southern Mississippi. That's where Bra Var Favre's daughter was a member of the volleyball team. Favre apparently asking Brian at one point, can Nancy New do more to move the volleyball project forward? More than $5 million in federal TANF funds were used to construct that stadium in Hattiesburg. Brian says he released the text messages requested by defendants in a civil lawsuit by the, brought by the Department of Human Services seeking to recoup millions of dollars in the $77 million welfare fraud scheme. Brian says it was he who was the whistleblower and he reported the corruption to the state auditor's office and he says he's done nothing wrong. These messages will be again mischaracterized into endless fodder for those who want to try to denigrate the success of my terms as governor and castigate Republican candidates in an election year. This is for him political, and this is for him kind of setting a tone um, for whatever happens down the road with this kind of spiraling and unfolding mess. Now, Brian says the messages released include all of the communications he had with John Davis. That's the former director of the Department of Human Services, which, of course, was at the center of the welfare fraud scandal and at least one text message between Davis and his nephew is missing. The former governor says he did not delete that text. They reached out to Apple to try to recover that message that was missing as well as other communications that are that have not been recovered but the, gov the former governor says they were not successful. For now we are live at the state capitol. Ross Adams 16 WAPT News.